Pakistan Steel's chairman claimed he was paying out money to Mr. Zadari. Did the chairman of Pakistan Steel ever make it clear to you or your members that Mr. Asif Zadari was somehow behind this? He was uh, always to our member dealers and other dealers who uh, are working with Pakistan Steel. He referred many times that I have to pay a amount of 100 million per month to Dula Bhai. And Dula Bhai is? Mr. Asif Zadari. Dula Bhai is the Urdu word for bridegroom. That's Mr. Zadari? Yes. The rice market, too, according to the president, was manipulated in an unprecedented way, and this time Miss Bhutto herself was involved. A friend of her husband's was in effect granted the right to buy half of the entire country's rice production at rock-bottom prices. We've obtained a document from the Prime Minister's Secretariat, which features Benazir Bhutto's own handwriting, ordering the State Rice Corporation to procure rice at very high prices to honour the deal. Her initials are on the paper. She overruled her officials' objections, claiming legal obligation. Her decision cost the Exchequer $41 million. It was just one of many deals. Sanctioning a shoot-to-kill policy, and it raises questions about the murder of her own brother. But most detailed of all are the 200 pages cataloguing corruption, nepotism, and violation of the rules of government. Those charges are laid at the door of Miss Bhutto and her husband, Asif Zadari. We've been investigating the allegations against the former first couple, which have divided both the country and the Bhutto dynasty. In the courtyard of Miss Bhutto's home in Lakana, the Pakistani style of politics, patronage and feudal obligation has remained unchanged for decades. Petitioners wait outside to ask favours in return for delivering votes. Loyalty and votes have always been bought by every party in Pakistan. But Miss Bhutto is accused by the president of using patronage to concentrate power in her own hands in an unprecedented way. The parliament in Islamabad was not the place where real power lay. It lay here in the prime minister's secretariat, where, according to her critics, Ms. Bhutto controlled virtually all aspects of government, including the powerful finance ministry. An extensive computer system charts every detail of the patronage that oiled the wheels of the system. Many of the favours were granted, according to the records, on the direct orders of the prime minister herself. In the inner sanctum of the computer room, we saw acres of paper detailing jobs, free land and grants given to individuals. The president says Ms. Bhutto used the power of the finance ministry to enrich and to impoverish to the first couple's advantage, ignoring the rules of government.